All right, let's get right down to it. You are expected to be perfect. Every performance, every moment, you are expected to play the right dynamics, the right note, the right rhythm, perfectly. And we prolong that idea. There is no perfect performance. There is no perfect playing. I will never play every note perfectly in tune, perfectly on time, and right when it should be. It doesn't matter how many times I do it. And we need to stop, stop prolonging this idea. And ima imagine, imagine how many people we've driven away because of burnout, because they're trying to get exactly the perfect moment. And it doesn't exist. So what am I proposing? Well, what it is, is I want us to normalize this idea that we can make mistakes. I want us to normalize the fact that no performance is ever perfect. Personally, I was so concerned and so consumed for a long time by this whole idea that it has to be perfect. It has to be right. It has to be now that I lost for a long time the love of playing. And to be honest, it wasn't until my children were born that I realized that, so what? I missed a note. I finally got what Dr. Ed Livingston was saying to me, that not everything is going to be right. You have to love being there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a bunch of videos of my rehearsals, me pr practicing, and it's going to show mistakes. It's going to show blemishes. But it's my hope that we start taking this to heart as teachers, that we cannot make these kids neurotic about perfection, that we cannot make these kids feel like they can't do it if they can't do it exactly perfect. We have to be humane. We have to be real. And to be honest, all these recordings you see on YouTube, TikTok, of these performers, it looks perfect because it's not the first take. It's not the second take. They've done several takes. It may not even be the recording that lines up with the video. So we need to be real. And we need to be honest with our students. And we need to put it out there that even after 30 some years of playing, I mess up. And we gotta be honest about that. Stop prolonging this perfection myth. I hope you get some enjoyment out of this. I, uh, I hope you learned something, I hope you feel something. Have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Okay, hon, well, I just started this piece today, so it's really rough. So this is what it sounds like so far. Thank you. 